All right, well, let's do a simple animation in Maya 2016, uh, just like we did um, in 15. It's the same one. So let's say you have a remote, you know, and I'll just make it right here like that. Let's say that's right here. I'm going to do a 360 with you guys. Um, it needs to follow the rules of animation for video games, so it needs to be at 60 frames per second. It needs to be a seamless loop, all right, and uh, it needs to be on a treadmill. So I'm going to do a 360 rotation because it's actually a very important animation in that business, uh, but uh, it is can be tricky to do, all right? Sometimes you can't just do uh, one all at once. Uh, it might come back, uh, backward and stuff like that, so we got we to gotta trick it out. First of all, we need to set it up to 60 frames per second. So we need, to go in, we need to go into the modeling menu right here, click on it, and select animation. Then we need to go to the option guy right here, click on it, and in the options right here, it's time slider, it's be activated by default, you most likely will be at play every frame, which is playing every frame, frame as fast as it can, depending on the hardware of your computer. Okay, so you want to change that right away, that's very important, and select other 60. All right, and you can change right here. It might be just other if you never used it. So you select other, and then you just put 60 right here. Okay, and you save that. Now that you've done that, all right, we're going to change the inner number, not the outer numbers. We're going to change the inner number from 1 to 60. So this is where we are going to work. All right, the outside numbers is the length of the full animation. The inside numbers is where you are working in, like a zoom. Okay, so we're going to do that. To make a key in Maya, you need to click on S on your keyboard. So to make it seamless as a key, it needs to be the same key at the beginning that it is at the end. So let's bring our time slider all right, to the left. So that's a time slider right here. Okay, um, you have the VCR control. All right, that's forward, backward. That's to the next keyframe. That's to the next frame. And that's to the end of the frames, that's to the previous keyframe, previous frame, beginning of the frame of the animations. Okay? A frame is just like it is right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 35, 40. That's a frame. A keyframe is a frame onto which you put information. So we go to one right here and we're gonna click on S right here. We select our object, sorry, and we click on X, uh, sorry, S. On the keyboard, oh, not at two. I'm gonna do that at one. I click on S on your keyboard. As you can see, everything turn red right here, and you have a little tick red that says you made a key. Now move the slider all the way to 60, and click on S again. Okay, but this time, actually, undo that. You're gonna go all the way to 60, and you're gonna rotate it. So you're gonna select the rotate tool first, and in the why you're going to rotate it to 359. So you're going to put 359 right here and click enter and click on the S. And now you're going to test it to see if it works. All right. And there is a little snag. Okay. And that's because Maya doesn't know how to interpolate it. So we're going to change that out. Select your object. Make sure the object is selected. Go to a new tool window. Animation Editor, Graph Editor, and right here, we're going to see zoom out until we see, see that's our motion right here, and we did it, remember, in Rotate Y, so now if we select Rotate Y right here, the channel we kid it, we will see it just by itself, marquee around, select around it, and then now just go into uh, straight, like that. Okay, there's different type of tangents, interpolation, straight, all right, right here, and now just play it, and it'll be at the same speed, beginning to the end, that's it, that's all you need to do uh, for this time, you can do other stuff, all right, you guys, there's the uh, a ball bouncing, I mean, whatever you want to do with your prop, but remember, it needs to be 60 frames per second, it needs to be on a treadmill, and it needs to be a seamless loop. And don't give me 20 seconds. It needs to be one second or two seconds max. All right? Thank you. Have fun.